All right, guys, we're coming up at the end on the end of the first five minute opening range. We have seen aggressive moves on the first five minute candle on Microsoft, um, which it woke up. I mean, this was a complete surprise. Um, I mean, a complete surprise. Um, Docu rolled over. Tesla rolled over. Everything that was up rolled over. Um, Microsoft just broke the five minute opening range high. So that triggered an entry. You know, where's the next level? We've got the linear regression channel here at 329 also we've got the five day at 329 so we've got nothing until we get to 329 so I would like to take profit at 328 I better put my order in before I start marking levels here. It might it might make that run at 328 early. Man, it got slapped down at 75. That was not nice. That was not a nice slap. That was not a nice slap. Not a nice slap, guys. If it gets slapped at 75 again, I'm going to take profit. All right, here we go. We should make it to 328. Come on, 328, baby, 328. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Uh, don't come back all the way. Don't come back all the way, you little tick turn. Get back up there again. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Come on, baby, go. Make a run back up there. I promise I'll take profit this time. Came close, but no cigar. I just hope we hadn't run out of our our um, volatility. Shit, man, it is rolling all the way back. Just in case it gets back up there. This thing has rolled all the way back. I should have grabbed it when it got, I thought, sure, we were going to hang on to it up there. Did anybody catch Docu on this breakdown?
Ooh, wrong. All right, good job on you guys that took that caught Docky on his break now. And also, great job on you guys that took profit on Microsoft. That you weren't stubborn like me, that you took profit when it got slapped again. Because right now, it is struggling to get back. It, it is struggling. I think I'm going to lose it, man. But this is the market. This is the stock market. Plain and simple. This is the stock market, plain and simple. So I should have put my I should have put my profit target ten cents to the inside. I should have done that. Looks like we might get another shot here. Looks like we got another shot. Let's see if we can get to 90. Ah, 50 got it stuffed. Dig in it. Got to get through that half dollar mark. Then we're going to run into the quarter dollar mark. Seventy-five was the initial slapper. That was the initial slap level. It still gets slapped at seventy-five. I see some light. But 75, I'm going to kill it. I see some light at the end of the tunnel. Come on, baby. Get up there. 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 There we go. Got it. Got it. At least we got a base hit on it. At least we got a base hit on it. There's just so much resistance up there.
Don't give up on Netflix. Don't give up on Netflix. VA's pulling back. Look at the window you've got. If it if it confirms under the hundred, look at the window you got. The issue that we had this morning, the market just it opened strong. So we're gonna have a lot of profit taking. Um, here goes Nvidia breaking its five minute opening range high. But not going to take it until we see where the linear regression channel is. Nope, not going to take it. The LRC is at 393 23. 393 23. So no long for me unless it takes out the LRC. That kind of rhymes. No long for me until it takes out the LRC. So be patient with these. The ones that we had on watch, be patient with them. Um, DG, did anybody catch DG? Oh, it hasn't set up yet. It did an aggressive short right here. We did an aggressive short right there. So DG gave us a, a little move. I told you just because we were down doesn't mean we can't sell anymore. Just because it looked the way it looked doesn't mean we can't sell anymore. I'm looking for 329. Bingo, Kino. Right on the linear regression channel. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, unfortunately, Netflix made its run pre-market. <clears throat> so that kind of killed it for today. Um, Let's see, DG bounce. Let's see if it's going to reject. Wow, this thing is tight. Ooh. I had no idea the channels were this tight on DG. Wow. Wow. That's tight. Damn, man. Why is this thing acting up? Docu still has some room to go.
but Microsoft. A partner in crime. 329.16. So if you're looking for a reversal, this is probably going to be it. Gotta wait for this. This could be it, but you gotta wait. Gotta wait for some a little bit more confirmation here. It's still showing some fight. You can see it. You can see the price action in the candlesticks as it's forming. <clears throat> Look. It's still got a little bit of fight. So you got to wait. It hasn't run out of strength yet. <clears throat> if it runs up against this LRC, now I'm losing my voice again. <clears throat> my throat's not hurting, but I'm starting to get some of that drainage <clears throat> that was messing with me all week. But I don't have a headache today. I don't have a sore throat. I am happy. Happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. See if we can reach 330. <laughs> Let's see. 335.74 I don't know if we're going to get there we're going to hit that 20 day moving average at 320 I mean um, 10 day at 330 the 50 day is at 329.48. That's what we're running into mm -hmm. at this point. That's what we're running into at this point. Three thirty-five seventy-four. Three thirty-five seventy-four. And then we've got three twenty-nine fifty-one. This is the five-day moving average. This is the really short-term sentiment on the daily chart. This moves pretty quickly. So this is where this is what we're running into is a five day moving average. But it shouldn't offer up too much resistance. You're gonna have resistance there, obviously. You saw it on this candle, you're seeing it on this candle. We're running into it right here. The next daily level that we're gonna get to is 335 but the five day and the 10 day is kind of in the way so the 10 day 330 81 
think the 10 day has more of a chance of really stopping this than the five day does. But you have to respect it. Obviously, you're going to run into resistance. So you don't know how strong it's going to be there. So I want to see a run up to 330. Let's confirm taking out the five day first, which means we got to make a higher high on this candle. We may pull back to it. Like I say, you've got to respect it. And guys, like I said, these moving averages and all of this, these are training wheels. These are training wheels. Any indicator you put on your chart is a training wheel. When you become really, really good at reading price action, you'll be able to read the candlesticks and tell exactly what you're running into. You know, I knew we were running into resistance before I even put this five day on here. I knew there was some resistance here. And that's going to bring in some people selling. People that are long are going to look for different levels to sell at. It may not be marked on the chart, but the automated trading systems know where these levels are. And if there's an order to sell when it hits the, the five day moving average, bam. There's an order to sell when it hits the 10 day moving average, bam. It's going to happen. You're going to see it. So I know what level is affecting this trade. And it's the five-day moving average. Or it could be something else. If you're using something else, if it's, just, if it's around this area, it's affecting the trade because there are some traders using it. More than likely to sell, to take profit. And once they take more profit, then you're going to be good. Now, did anybody catch NVIDIA? Remember I told you, over the linear regression channel. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You guys are really getting it. You're really getting it. <clears throat> now, if you hesitate pulling the trigger... Your confidence is really low. And that's something we need to work on. But if you guys are coming in and you're nailing these trades, you're entering when you're supposed to. You're not sitting here saying, oh, this is up too far. It's going to pull back. I'm not going to get in. There's no analyzing at that point. When it triggers an entry, and you have a profit window, acceptable profit window, you damn well better pull that trigger. All right, you damn well better pull that trigger. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. Mm, this thing had this thing got stuck at whole dollar mark some new sell orders hit did you see it you don't see it on on level two but there was a lot of sell orders the reason being professional traders do not put their orders out there for you to see it it's not out there for you to see it if it's an automated trading system, the level that they're going to sell at is in their computer. They're not putting orders out at a certain price. It'll just, when it hits a certain price, it'll start firing off. Most of the time, they start 10 cents inside of the level. That's why you see it not hit you know, say the whole dollar mark or hit the whole the level directly because you've got orders starting to fire off 
five and ten cents earlier. Again, it's about knowing what's happening in the market. It's not about an indicator. It's not about any any study. It's about knowing what makes the market tick. It's knowing you know what's happening when you start to see this. I started to put my order at 329.90. Uh, if I did, I would have gotten hit. But that's on me. That's 100% on me. So I'm going to put it there. If it gets there again. I don't think it is. I, I think it's pulling back now. Yeah, I think we're reversing. We're trying to reverse off of the five day um, the linear regression channel is likely to stuff it nope it's not it has adjusted up and now it's resistance check it out check it out If I can get another pop up there before we pull back, I'll be fine. But look at the linear regression channel right here, adjust it up. And it's act, it was acting as resistance. But let me see if we can get another pop up, the 330. Then we're good. Come on, baby. I'm taking it at 329.90 if it gets there. Now I'm taking it all off. I'm not going to let it ride. Yeah, we're, we've run out of steam, guys. I think the reversal is imminent. So let's get our mindset for the reversal attempt. So now we're reversing it. Uh, looking for 328.25 for the first target. 328.25. Good job on BA. It, if it gets over the the uh, opening range high, you might have something. So we're looking for this reversal here. The nine is screaming up. Um, you're gonna have some fighting back on this. We're at the whole dollar mark here, 329. We haven't lost it yet. We, this candle has to close below 329 and then we're going to look at 328.50. We'll start to see some, some support there. Maybe 328.75. Maybe. But this has to close below 329. 
If it bounces up and closes above 329 on this candle, we got nine more seconds, then we might be in a little bit of trouble. But as long as this closes below, really 328.90 is what we wanted to see. This is still too close to 329. We're still caught in that whole dollar mark gravity. So this thing may bounce on us. If we don't get out, if this didn't close 10 cents out of the 329 level, we're still caught in that gravity. We're still in that fight. And you know there's still buying pressure coming in because look at the nine pushing up. You could see it in the price action. You can see it. The buying pressure coming in. So we didn't get it didn't get clean. Yeah, Netflix is trying to bounce. But again, Netflix I don't want until it takes out the high. I don't want it unless it takes out the high. The market is, is screaming right now. We're up to 431.50. The market's kicking butt. But yeah, you guys, I'm here. My job is to um you know, either give you constructive criticism, tell you things you may not want to hear but you need to hear. That's what a real teacher does. I will encourage you and support you when you need it. But when you need a slap on the wrist, I'm going to give it to you. When, I, when you need a what in the hell is the matter with you, then you're going to get that too. Microsoft is struggling. Like I said, 329. We know where the support is. This candle needs to close 10 cents out of 329. It needs to close in the 328.80s or below for it to give us what we need. Come on, baby.
Come on down, baby. I think this the nine moving average is at three twenty eight twelve. So I should be able to get three twenty eight twenty five on the dip. I should still be able to get 328.25. So we need to get down to the half dollar mark and work on it a little bit. We got to work on 50. And if we can get through 50, 25 is on deck. But expect a little bit of trouble at 50. Because... And I'm monitoring the nine moving average. It can keep creeping up. So right now I said 328 11, 328.12. Um, you know, if we get up to around 328.20, I might be in a little trouble, but I want to see this could keep attacking 328.50. Damn, it didn't pull back up. I want to see it keep attacking 328 3.28.50. This thing is re shoot. It's getting back up to three twenty nine. Ah, uh, this thing is fighting back, boy. It is fighting back. I may have to kill it at 50 if it if it doesn't do any better. We got to attack 50 and kill and just We got to lose it. We got to lose it. We got to lose it. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know if I'm going to get it back there. Uh. If I can get it back to 50, I'll take it. Come on, baby. Come on back down. Come on down. Damn. Come on back down. I'm going manual. Come on back down. Come on, you little tick turd. I don't want it at 75. I will take it. You know what? I'm going to have to take profit for this thing to drop. You know my M.O. I take profit and it drops. This is making me mad. It's up to 328.14. So it's not really going. It's not really dropping that fast. Come on. Give me 50 again. I promise I'll take it. I promise. Give me 50 again and I will, I promise I'll take it. I will not be greedy. Come on down. Come on, sellers. Pick them up and set them down. 
pick them up and set them down. Come on, sellers. Let's go. We got to get to the nine. Let's go. Pick them up and set them down. Come on. Pick them up and set them down. Pick them up and set them down. I'll answer your question in a second. I am trying to... I'm in this dog fight now. Come on, dip, baby, dip. I'm in this dog fight right now. I just need a quick flush. A quick flush. Quick flush. Quick flush. All right, I'm taking it. I am taking it. I got it at 54. Taking it. I, there's no guarantee this thing's going to get through it. Yeah, Tesla just triggered an entry. It's after 10 o'clock. Um... Tesla did, NVIDIA, NVIDIA flagged, and you got an entry on NVIDIA, so you guys are on it, man, you're on it, dog on it, yep, NVIDIA flagged here, looking for the next break, where's the LRC? Uh-oh. It ran right into that. 396.35. Amen. So if it could take this out, we're in good shape. But great catch on Tesla. Tesla took out its five-minute opening range high and the pre-market high. So great job on that. I would, you know, there's no way I could have held it through all of this garbage. I just cut Tesla loose, break even. Just cut Tesla loose, break even. Um, Netflix still waiting on the breakout. You know, here we broke out over the over broke back out over the fifty the previous fifty two week high. Here we had a nice window up to here. Looks like Microsoft is bouncing right there off of the off of the nine. The nine is still screaming up. But I'm good with that base hit. I'm good with it. A base hit on the reversal. Always good with it.
Um, I, I haven't had any confidence swinging in this market for a while. If I swing anything, it's going to be stocks coming off the bottom like DG. You know, like we looked at this morning. I'm only looking for stocks coming off the bottom. Only looking at stocks coming off the bottom. So y'all got you getting a lot of base hits. That is that's awesome. That's what this is about. That is what this is about. Let's see. Do you mean by true range for a stock that is high low that day? I can only find ATR 14 stocks at Finviz. No, you can't do you can't do um intraday ATR on Finviz. It's only going to tell you that the the ATR the daily ATR that's all it's going to tell you. Uh, you have to do your intraday ATR on your the chart that you're trading off of. So like I'm trading on DOS. My, my um, ATR right here is based on DOS. The intraday ATR is based on the previous six candles. And this is telling me automatically what the ATR is for each candle that's printing. So I'll know how much room to give it if I get in a trade. What's the average range of an individual candlestick? So when I get in the trade, the one candlestick won't stop me out. Did that that make sense to you? So we've had a pretty decent morning. Pretty decent morning. And you guys have really, really done good. I mean, all you guys that I'm working with, that actually we work together consistently, you, you're getting it. You guys are getting it. You get that. You keep strengthening your mindset and, and building your confidence. You're going to get it. why my button just keeps putting out multiple orders now I'm just clicking it maybe I need to unplug and plug in my mouse thing All right, Netflix is waking up. Remember to move on Netflix, guys. What are we looking for? We're looking for this move here. 
Now, if you bought the reversal, you've got you're you're trying to get to this four twenty four eighty seven level. And then we've got 426.70. But here is the five minute opening range high, which is right here, right with this pre market level right there. So we're approaching the 1030 the hour mark for the market being open. Um, this is when things are gonna start to unwind a little bit, slow down. things are gonna start trading sideways. Unless you have a stock that has a catalyst, it's probably what you're going to be feeling right now. Things are going to start to slow down. They're going to kind of move in its safe zone. Its safe zone is the danger zone for us. Okay, so NVIDIA is pulling back in. Um, Netflix is kind of pulling back from the push. You know, if support holds, this thing could, you know, in the next hour or so, pull back, bounce off support, and start back growing. After lunch, this thing could be a, a nice breakout. Um, just have to keep our eyes on this. And Netflix trades on lower volume. So don't look for like 500,000 shares to be trading and all of that. Netflix trades very well on lower volume. If you haven't figured that out yet, I'm telling you, it's trading, it trades very well on lower volume. Um, Docu, you can see this thing is just selling off. If you're riding the train down, you know, great job on that. You would have had to wait until it got under the 200 here. And red to green would have been your first target. So, you know, this would have been a decent trade if you took it. Or for those of you that did take it, that was a good trade. Um, BA. Didn't really do much. Um, this is the rest day. It made a move yesterday. Like I told you, it was on our um, IAO. I mean, yeah, IAO scan. It it was on it yesterday. Made a big move. Is is resting today, as you can see. It's resting. So expect this to put in a big move tomorrow. So keep this on watch for tomorrow. At least right now. We don't we won't know until the end of the day where this thing ends, but I do believe this is a rest day for it. It's resting to you know break out and make a new 52 week high. Um Meta was the other one. You guys that caught Meta. Beautiful, beautiful job. No way we could buy it inside here on a five-minute opening range break. We wait until it takes out and goes green on the day. Look at the explosive move. So those of you that caught Meta, 
great job on it. Um, those of you that caught Tesla on its break, you did get a nice little base hit. Um, better than what I did pre-market. You know, I just killed this because we weren't, we failed to break this level twice. So I just pulled it. Even though we were sitting on support, you know, I just pulled it. And you can see what happened coming into the open. Um, but it did eventually break out and look for the move that I wanted. But, you know, when the chart's telling you that it's just not going anywhere and you're kind of stuck sideways in the channel, you got to get out of it. Got to get out of it. So you guys that caught that move, you know, good job. Um, Netflix is, you know, what we're looking for. You know, some of you got the early break. Um, that's good. I told you this was the entry right here. Um, some of you got the early break, but I'm still waiting for this to get up over 426.70. For a breakout trade. So that's the rounds. I'm not sure this Microsoft is starting to trade sideways as well. So we may be stuck in this sideways trade. Um, unless it pops here and stops us out. But that's pretty much the morning. You know guys, so take a break. Take a bathroom break, take a coffee break, take a water break, whatever you do. And, you know, I think things will come back. Yeah, if I said tomorrow, I mean Monday. Yep, if I said tomorrow, I definitely mean Monday. So it looks like we're going to get stopped out here on this bounce on Microsoft. It did not sell through the 9. This is why you always take profit on the 9. Um, yeah, if this thing, this thing flagged out, this is still bullish. You know, when we take reversals, we're not taking reversals. We're not taking top reversals on a bearish chart. We're taking a reversal on a bullish chart. So this is still a bullish. This is still bullish. We're holding the nine moving average. If we lose it, then it starts to get bearish. When we start losing support levels. But right now, it you know, it tried to flag out. It's still bullish. So just hang on to it. And if it stops you out at break even, then so be it. Wait to see if it takes out the high up here. And it might give us a long trade going in, you know, coming in after lunch. So that's our first hour, guys. Very, very good. Um, pretty much a good start like we had yesterday. 